Hey there, folks, it's Antar. I'm feeling much better, thank you very much. And I am back with a doubles battle against Sir Dwarf Lark, who PM'd me through YouTube asking for a battle, and I was like, yeah, sure, by any chance you do you you doubles? And he was like, I've actually never done a double doubles battle before. I'm like, that's okay, we'll do singles. And he was like, no, 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 let's try doubles. I, ha I want to try doubles. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, and so here he is with his standard UU team, uh, using it in doubles, and I go ahead and, this is my trick room team, uh, you've all seen it tons of times in the past, hopefully, unless you're new to the channel. Uh, anyway, he, I am very grateful here that he didn't go for the Brave Bird, didn't go for really anything, he could have gone for Taunt against my Gallade, which, you know, is probably only obvious to me that it's out there to use trick room. Uh, my team doesn't really look like a trick room team unless... You've seen it before, I guess. Um, but anyway, yeah, his Kingdra goes for the Draco Meteor, and I almost lose my Rotom on the first turn, but I survive with such little HP, only 13 HP, and I'm able to go for the Blizzard. His Dumb and Dumber, his Slowbro isn't going to care, but I get the extremely, extremely lucky Freeze Hacks against his Kingdra, and, you know, Freeze is one of those... Uh, freeze is the status that I think is the most annoying, because... You know, there's a chance you're going to do the thaw out on the first turn, there's a chance it's going to take you 20. Because I think it's, what, a 1 in 5 chance of thawing each turn, and I don't know whether freeze turns reset like that. I don't, I don't think they do because I don't think they're like sleep turns. I really think it is 1 in 5 shot of thawing each turn. So yeah, it can be incredibly broken. If there were a move that guaranteed freeze or held 50% freeze, it would be broken. Anyway, Rotom's going to get taken out here. Uh, I go for the Drain Punch against his Kingdra just in case it thawed out. Unfortunately, he switched out uh, into Crobat, and he's actually doing... It's actually pretty interesting. He's pulling off a uh, switching strategy quite well. Usually in doubles, you don't want to be switching too much. I mean, there are no entry hazards, but you really need the sustained power. Here, I, you know, I, have a, I actually think that Volturn might actually be a interesting slash viable strategy in uh, doubles. Now, this is an interesting move right here. Uh, I knew that, I figured that Glagger would come out eventually. Uh, I was actually expecting him to U-turn with Crobat, um, and so I go ahead and use Ice Beam against Crobat. Uh, now, actually, that's kind of silly to be talking about that because his Crobat would obviously be going second because of the Trick Room. But anyway, I at least hit Crobat with a decently powerful Ice Beam. Uh, but now he's going to go ahead and Brave Bird uh, my Musharna. Really glad I switched out Gallade because if Musharna, uh, if, uh, Musharna can actually take that hit quite well because it is so bulky. I am really impressed with my Musharna considering it is probably the last Pokemon on any of my teams that's not RNG'd. Um, it does not have flawless stats, not even close. Uh, I spent a lot of time soft resetting for it and it's actually a pretty good set. Anyway, he's actually doing some really nice predictions here. Uh, Psychic is not going to do anything as Dumb and Dumber. Uh, I have Angler go for Scald against his Gligar, and I'm going to get a crit, and that crit probably mattered. I'll have that up in the annotations, whether that crit mattered, but, I mean, maybe I could have gotten the burn otherwise, but, uh, yeah, I'm really lucky that I did get that crit. So, down goes his Gligar. He's going to go out here into his, uh, Regid... Uh, yeah. Nitto Queen, which actually I haven't seen much of in Yu Yu. I hear that it's actually pretty used or used fairly often in Yu Yu, but I've never seen it. So anyway, he goes ahead and ta Thunder Waves my Musharna. And I'm like, why would you do that? It's already really slow, and I'm obviously running a Trick Room team. So what's the point? Anyway, I go for the Scald against uh, that his Queen Arena against his Nitto Queen, hoping to get it down to extremely low health, and I actually get it down pretty low. He did not realize, he did not pay attention and realize that my angler uh, had an air balloon. If he would have seen it when it, uh, I switched it out. Anyway, the trick room ends here. But yeah, honestly, I'm pretty sure I could have taken an earth power decently well considering my lantern is specially defensive. It's just, it's just the classic special defensive set. Uh, although, then again, with sheer force, maybe not. I'll put it up in the uh, annotations how much that would have done had he actually connected. Anyway, go for the uh, Thunderbolt against his uh, Slowbro. He goes ahead and goes for Grass Nod here, just gonna break my uh, air balloon. And But the thing about Lantern is it's actually really light. People don't realize this. So anyway, I go for Psychic against Nitto Queen and I manage to take it out. Yeah, I actually hadn't realized that the Trick Room ended. I'd looked away from my screen. Uh, so I didn't bother getting the Trick Room back up. I really wish I had. Oh, it doesn't. It's not gonna matter too much but it's just going to mean I do it next turn. Uh, now, I believe this is the turn that my opponent is actually going to do a really cool move. He's going to withdraw Slowbro, 
Uh, go out into his Kingdra. That's not the cool part. I mean, send out Kingdra for death fodder, I guess. But now here, look at this. He U-turns out. Uh, Brain actually survives because it is a bulky bastard. And he's going to actually bring Slowbro back out. So I didn't realize that you could do this, but with, uh, you know, switch out a Pokemon and switch it back in on the same turn. But I guess you can, thanks to, um, thanks to U-turn, or Volt, uh, Volt Turn, um, sorry, uh, Volt Switch, or re related moves. So anyway, unfortunately I was just going for the T-Bolt, and so I do get the kill. Uh, and, yeah, that's a dead slow bro. Now I don't have to deal with it anymore. Trick Room is back up this turn. Might as well get it back up. My brain is going to be now the first Pokemon to go no matter what, pretty much. And so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Moonlight. I'm very lucky that I'm not getting Parahax at any point. So now that I'm not going to... I'm going to get out of the red, and I don't think that his Crobat can one-shot me with anything that it has. I have Angler go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt, actually against Kingdra, because I want that thing dead just in case it thaws. I, just based on the amount of damage that uh, that Draco Meter did, I don't want to have to worry about it anymore. It's I think it's Life Orb I saw. Anyway, he decides to take this opportunity to go for the Roost. Great, great call. Uh, it means that it's going to take me a little bit longer to take out his Crobat. Uh, my opponent is, however, down to his last two Pokémon. Yeah, his Crobat is actually back up to almost full HP, and considering how uh, freaking fast that Pokemon is, uh, it's actually faring fairly well in this Trick Room uh, setting. So anyway, uh, his Beyblade, his Hitmontop uh, has Intimidate, so that gives me some information. It's not a Technitop. I don't have to worry probably too much about priority, fake out, those kinds of things. So I go for Psychic, and here I'm going to get a crit. Uh, again, I'll post in the annotations about whether that crit mattered or not. Uh, but even if it did, all it did was shorten this battle. I mean, I've only lost one Pokemon. He is now down to his very last Pokemon, and I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to take it out this turn, but I think I'm going to take it out next turn. Uh, yeah, he is actually going to survive with a little tiny bit of HP. So all that would have... all his hit on top surviving would have done was maybe he could have gotten another kill, depending on what uh, offensive moves he's running. Probably the close combat could have KO'd Angler. Uh, almost certainly not Brain. Maybe he could maybe have payback against uh, my Mushoina. Anyway, he could, he could have probably have gotten a kill. But, as it is, I'm going to win this battle. 5-zip. Uh, it's technically a body bag. But i got to say, my opponent actually did fairly well, considering I had a Trick Room team. A lot of his Pokemon were on the speedy side. And this is his first double battle ever. So, great game, Sir Dwarf Lark. We need to battle again in singles. That is just the end of the story. So, hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.